Till now we have completed static and dynamic systems, causal and non-causal systems and the next classification is time invariant and time variant systems. So in this presentation we are going to discuss what are time invariant and time variant systems. We will also solve two examples to understand the topic in much better way. This particular property of systems is very important. Time invariant and time variant property is important because we will also use it in LTI systems, linear time invariant systems. So let's start the discussion and like usual notation we are using till now, XT will be the input, XT will be the input to the system. This is our system and we need to check if this system is time invariant or not and this system will give us output yt but there is one change instead of directly recognizing this output yt we will first provide a delay by t naught so we have another system here this is also a system and this system is providing a delay by t naught to the output of the first system the original system whose property we are analyzing so yt will become yt minus t naught after passing through the second system providing the delay by t naught so this is what we are doing in the first step in the second step i want to switch the position of first system and the system providing the delay why because i want to provide the delay to the input itself instead of providing the delay to the output i want to provide the delay to the input itself and then i will pass it through the system and I will see if the two outputs are same or not. So let's see how we can do it. You can see here the first system is the system providing the delay of T0 and the second system is the system under analysis. So what I will do, I will provide the same input XT to the system providing the delay. So we have the connection like this. The same input XT is given to the system providing the delay so the first output we will get will be xt minus t naught xt minus t naught the input was xt and we have provided the delay by t naught so we have xt minus t naught and now we will feed this xt minus t naught to the original system and we will have a output let's say y dash t now there are two possibilities in the first possibility y dash t may be equal to y t minus t naught and in the second possibility it may not be equal to y t minus t naught. So let's analyze the two situations. In the first situation it is equal to y t minus t naught and in the second situation it is not equal to y t minus t naught. And when it is equal to y t minus t naught, we call the system as time invariant system. Time invariant system. And when it is not equal to y t minus t naught, we call it time variant system. So I hope you now understand what is the difference between time invariant and time variant system. Let us understand the summary of this discussion. We have input x t. And we have one system whose time variancy we want to check and when xt is provided to this system the output produces yt this is what we have now to check if the system is time invariant or time variant simply provide the delay of t naught to the output of the system you will have y t minus t naught in the next step directly provide the delay to the input itself you will have xt minus t naught and then feed it to the system you will have y prime or y dash t and if the output in the second case is same as the output in the first case the system is time invariant system and if they are not same the system is time variant system if you want to write down the definition you can write down a time invariant system is a system in which any delay provided in input must be reflected in the output this is the definition and we have already understood how to check if the system is time invariant or time variant. This will be the same process you have to repeat while solving the problems. Now it's time to solve the first example in this lecture. And in this example, output to yt is equal to x2t. This means xt is the input of the system 
and the system is giving us the output which is equal to x2t so x2t is yt and we need to find out if this system here is time invariant or time variant so let's see how we can do it the process is very simple we have already seen how to find out if the system is time invariant or time variant so in step number one in step number one simply provide the delay to the output output is yt and we will provide the delay by t naught and we will have y t minus t naught and y t is equal to x 2 t so simply replace this t by t minus t naught so we will have x 2 t minus t naught simplifying this you will have x 2 t minus 2 t naught this is step number one in step number two instead of providing the delay to the output we will provide the delay to the input the input is x t so let's provide the delay of t naught the same delay as the step number one and this will give us x t minus t naught now we will feed this as the input to the system our system here so this will be given to the system and the system is having the tendency to perform the time scaling this is time scaling operation it is multiplying 2 to the time so what will you write down the output now there are chances of mistake you may write down the output by simply multiplying 2 to t minus t naught but this is not true because it is only performing the time scaling on the time itself not any constant this t naught here is the constant it is not varying so we will have x inside the bracket 2t minus t naught don't multiply this 2 to this t naught also because system is performing the time scaling and time scaling is only performed on the independent variable which is t in this case so this is what we have in step number two now compare this and this compare the output in the first case and output in the second case you will find they are not same here we have 2 t naught and here we only have t naught so the system will be time variant system so this is the process to check if the system is time invariant or variant now let's solve the example number two in this example output y t is equal to 2 plus x t again you can assume how the system is working you are providing x t to the system and the system is giving us the output which is 2 plus x t this is the output y t and we need to find out if the system is time invariant or time variant we will follow the same process in step number one in step number one we will provide the delay to the output yt and this will give us 2 plus x t minus t naught instead of this t we will have t minus t naught this is the output in this step number one in step number two we will provide the delay to the input itself so providing the delay we will have x t minus t naught this is after providing the delay and now we will feed this to our system and the system will give us the output which is 2 plus x t minus t naught okay and if you see the two outputs you will find they are same so this time the system is time invariant system time invariant system so there is one conclusion which you can derive from these two examples the conclusion is whenever the system is performing the time scaling it is going to be time variant system and when the system is performing the amplitude shifting this is the case of amplitude shifting the system is time invariant system so this was all for this lecture in the coming presentations we will derive few more important results based on time invariant and time variant systems